What up? This is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment. And here's my review of Netflix new series, Alice in Borderland. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you would like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. First up, I would like to say thank you to Netflix for granting me the screener to this new show. They've asked me to not spill spoilers, therefore, this video review is spoiler free. I repeat, there are no spoilers in this video review. Now this is the type of post-apocalyptic survival story that rocks my world. My god, Alice in Borderland is like the perfect cross between Battle Royale and Escape Room. I know that sounds outrageous, but these episodes floored me. The games are really tough to solve. They are inventive and sinister and tricky as hell. The characters are fascinating and complicated and persistent. And the best part is nobody is safe. Any one of them can be wiped out at any time. The writing quality is sharp and clever and full of existential drama that's both sentimental and hopeful. Alice in Borderland will keep you on the edge of your seat. Based on Haro Aso's graphic novel Imawa no Kuni no Alice, written by Yoshik Watabi, Yasuko Kuramitsu, and Shinsuke Sato, and directed by Shinsuke Sato, in Alice in Borderland, Arisu is an unemployed video game obsessed young man who along with his carefree best friends, they find themselves in a strange emptied out version of Tokyo where they have to compete in dangerous games in order to survive. Arisu also meets a young woman named Usagi who's navigating the games alone. Together, they set out to unravel one mystery after another as they risk their lives and confront what it means to live. Now, I've never read the novel, and I've never seen the previous video animated adaptation, so I walked into this not knowing what to expect at all, other than the knowledge of when it comes to games, Japanese people are very creative at building them. I mean, have you seen many of their wacky TV game shows? Half the time, I don't even know where or how they come up with those ideas. Alice in Borderland, however, is miles away from wacky. The games you'll see here on this show are lethal and consequential. I kid you not. These games can break your spirit if you let them. This is quite an ambitious project too. As we all know, Shibuya Crossing is probably one of the busiest streets in the world, maybe even more crowded than Times Square. So for this production to make it seem as if people have simply vanished from that location, I don't know if other Japanese shows or other Japanese movies have done that before, but that is downright impressive. Some of the games also contains visually stunning elements that play off against the show's graphic and bloody violence. Alice in Borderland is definitely not for the faint of heart and not for the squeamish. So if you are in that category, then proceed with caution. Also, I really enjoy the performances, which can get really intense. My favorite is actress Tao Suchia, who plays Usagi. That woman's beauty and strength and endurance are jaw-dropping. The themes presented, will you sacrifice your principles, your integrity, and your friendship for it? The motivations for these characters indicate that they are flawed human beings, but what drives them inside the games determine what kind of person they choose to be. Alice in Borderland is not an easy show to watch, I'll tell you that much, but it's like a page turner. 
you can't wait to see what happens next.